I'm Charlie. I'm Ewan. Um, and we both did share the same birthday, which was last Thursday. Yeah, and it's pretty cool because like there's two parties. Sometimes we can have joint parties, but we can't do this because of lockdown. So yeah, Charlie's just had a party. Yeah, I had a party yesterday. A ladies tag one, but it had to be outside. But it was quite cool. So. Yeah, it was cool. At the beginning of a pandemic, I felt anxious, a bit worried because I really didn't know what to expect. It was a bit new for everybody. None of us knew what was going to happen. If we're eating a new food, for example, it's like that experience which you've never had before. But at the same time, you can be quite eager to see how it works. I felt like, yes, because like, yes and no, you know, that feeling. At first, I was rather excited. I thought it would be nice to, like, have a change. But I did not expect how long it would go on for, so I was questioning whether I should be excited still. No, because, no, school, I don't get to play with my friends. But then when I kind of saw what it meant, like, you couldn't go out and see people, uh, it wasn't so great, like, after a few weeks. The yes point is, that I get to spend more time with my family. And that's nice. Kind of made me a bit scared, but uh, open to new ideas. It's hard to not do what you like to do, come to school and see your friends. It kind of set in, and the more you watched the news or the more uh, people were talking about it, the more you understood that there is going to be a change. So we were at home on our computers on our own. I was in year three when that happened and I was very young and didn't know how to use all this technology all the time. It was easier um, for my age group because um, we had experienced technology much more. But as it went on, uh, I started to relax more and I thought this was a new normal. I had one brother in this school and um, he was the only other person in my household that was using Teams. Um, and we kept on figuring out different things and we would share it with each other and it strengthened the bond between us. The coronavirus had come back, which to me was also frustrating. Yeah, I was quite annoyed because of the second lockdown. We went back onto online learning, but it was much easier because we'd already experienced it before. Because my birthday was coming up, so it was Charlie's. But then we were like, before that, there was no, there was, we couldn't do birthday parties. So I was like, no, it's like I'm trapped in a dungeon and all my friends are like on the top floor, so I can't talk to them. I didn't meet up with people for about, uh, like my, uh, my school friends for about a year. I, I'm a very keen gardener and because of online learning, and not going out much, it, it's, it's really changed. I haven't been outside very often. I, I felt a bit sad um, and a bit disappointed because um, the world didn't, wasn't as flexible as I thought. But since it has uh, spanned over a year now, uh, it's been like disappointing of how the world has handled it. I thought um, this country would um, be able to um, isolate everyone and deal with the virus. When we came back into the classroom, it was very different, I guess, because we'd been online for quite a while. When I went back to school, it was a really happy day for me because also I saw all my friends, I got to see all my teachers. I got to see my teachers in person, not on a camera. It felt a bit new because we've been so used to online learning, but at the same time it's really relieving as you're not looking at a screen all day. I was quite relieved and excited, but also I didn't know like how anything was going to be and how everything will be, how everything will operate. It was a really happy day. Getting back and seeing people organically, it's really good for your mental health. In March I felt kind of scared, but now since people are wearing masks in my year and the year above, I feel like safe and secure. Uh, I was mainly worried if everyone had changed uh, more uh, than 
uh, the previous time we met. Uh, so it was kind of a shock when everyone was still the same uh, normal person as they were. But we had like kind of natural happiness between us because we knew we were like together again. I saw my friends again, and I, I although we couldn't hug and you know all the all the other shit, but we did do elbow bumps, played games, uh, just overall having fun. And seeing them for the first time in a, like a long time, that rush of excitement just goes through your veins, and it just feels amazing. It was really exciting and. I felt really very relieved to be back and um, learning again in school. It's just so good to be face to face. You're more focused in school. Um, one re of the reasons because you're away from all distractions of your house. The fact that teachers are with us at school and we're with our friends, it feels like we're all in it together rather than when you're sitting behind the laptop screen. You kind of feel a bit alone because of the fact that you feel it's just you, and it's just you in that room. Even though there were restrictions and we were in a very small class and we were all split up, it's still better than like nothing and being at home. It's like putting on a pair of old shoes again. It's like, it's new, but at the same time, it feels right. I'm quite happy and like excited and just hope it like stays like this. <laughs> the pandemic, um, had a lot of disadvantages and that was very sad, but also had lots of pros. We um, care for each other more and also you see online a different side of other people. I suddenly has a lot of free time and that free time um, uh, I could do a lot of things that I usually couldn't do. Um, I think living through the pandemic made me a lot more creative since I had more time to do stuff that would be creative. I've started to feel much closer to my sisters. Um, I can start playing with them without annoying them. So um, that, that's nice. Everybody um, has become more caring and more considerate of others. Um, everybody has taken a different view on the world as we know it now. Well, we've learnt that not everything goes to plan. So um, we, we didn't know coronavirus was going to come and we also didn't know from China it would spread so quickly to us. So we just, what well, I've learnt and I think everybody else has learnt, to be more resilient as well as just keep going, step by step. Don't look at a very big goal and you think, oh no, I can't do it. Do it one step at a time, so like climbing a staircase. I think it's changed me um, with my sense of relationship to my family and my brother um, and also uh, with the way that I care towards other people. I think I've come to value friendships more as I think many of us took friendships and our teachers for granted. Yeah, I um, mean, it definitely changed me. Because at the start, I just needed my parents, but they were both teachers. But then I grew more individual, and then, yeah, I was independent, and then when I went back, it was kind of like a change, because I had, like, more people, but I was just more used to being independent. Even though it's nice to work with others, you can work independent. I think we've all learned independence um, and having to do things the hard way instead of having it easy. I believe that I've slightly uh, brought up a more, a more mature side of myself um, and a more grateful side. I think that we've also learned to be quite resourceful in what we do and how we need to adapt quicker and uh, not take things for granted. I would value maybe friends and family more because you don't see them for a long period of time. Become more independent. I've valued um, the small things more in life. I'm more considerate and caring of others. Bonding time with my family um, has definitely increased. Uh, like with my dad, he used to go out and work every day, but the fact that he was working from home uh, increased our time uh, together and um, I think it made me value a lot of uh, things a lot more. 
I, I actually think um, because of COVID, I, um, th I'm con sort of contradicting myself, but I think I get more focused um, because of COVID because um, I was trying so hard not to get distracted that I actually focused more. And when I came back to school, um, it was easier to focus. If uh, COVID never actually happened, I would be just self-aware of myself. But since lots of people have been died, I've been like caring about other people, knowing how they feel, like um, their emotions about life and so on. So I think I've changed a lot since then because I've been a lot more caring than usual. So I've changed like twice as better than I was before. It's been nice to express my feelings um, because normally I would have been trapped away almost. Um, I wouldn't express it because it's behind us and um, it's almost out of date. Nobody would really listen. Um, but because of this interview, it's all about COVID and how um, I dealt with it. Um, so I, I think um, I feel much better now, uh, better after communicating with you. When I first came in, I was kind of scared because people are going to interview me and like strangers I haven't even known are going to watch this. But since you've been asking me questions, I've actually gotten into the mood, so I'm not so scared now. I, I felt really happy so I could express my feelings about the lockdown. It, I think it gives us a voice uh, and it gives us a chance to explain from our point of view what we felt. Well, I'm happy because in lockdown you couldn't, like, there wasn't many opportunities to let your, like, feelings out, but this interview was one of the opportunities to let your feelings out. And I also like uh, talking to other people about what I feel. I, I feel much better, and I will feel much better after this interview, because I've told other people how I feel. I normally, whenever I'm on camera or in a school play, I sometimes get a bit overexcited and start giggling. So. I'm happy that I didn't do that today.